Hello everyone, in today's video we are going to delve into the ancient wisdom of Ayurveda, a holistic healing system that has been enhancing lives for thousands of years. But this time we're focusing on something incredibly important yet often overlooked, our eyes. Our eyes are not just windows to the world, but also mirrors reflecting our overall health. And Ayurveda with its unique dosha system provides an extraordinary perspective on understanding and caring for our eyes. From foggy vision to astigmatism, from cataracts to conjunctivitis, we'll explore common eye disorders through the lens of the Ayurveda dosha system. We'll unravel the intricate relationship between our eyes and our doshas, vata, pitta, and kapha and discover how balancing these vital energies can lead to better vision and overall well-being. So get ready to embark on this enlightened, enlightening journey. This approach to vision care will not just enhance your sight, but also change your life forever. Let's open our eyes to the wisdom of Ayurveda and see our health in a whole new light. In Ayurveda, the three doshas, vata, pitta, and kapha govern all physical and mental processes. A Sanskrit word, alachika, pitta, is a sub-dosha of pitta. Pitta is the system of digestion that governs vision and is located in the eye. The Ayurvedic science says, that the eyes are the primary organism of digestion. In the eyes, you have the lysosomes, which are the enzymes of the vitreous fluid. That is just one example of the connection of digestion to the eyes. In Sanskrit, we say when electrical pitta is balanced, the digestive system supports clear vision and healthy eyes. However, when pitta alachika, which is another way of saying the digestive efficiency connected to vision becomes imbalanced by food that doesn't completely digest and becomes fermented or putrefied can lead to various eye disorders. The indicators of signs of alachika pitta, also known as the connection of imbalances in digestion to vision health. Here's how the eyes and the digestion are connected and how they relate to the doshas, vata, the nervous system, pitta, the digestive system, and kapha, the system of moisture in the body. Foggy vision, poor eyesight, and poor color perception. These are often caused by the excess of pitta. What is pitta? Pitta is the undigested food that ferments and putrefies in the digestive system that leads to inflammation and heat in the eyes. Pitta it has many translations and one that's very important to understand is that in the stomach, which of course is the first place where food is made into a food paste, there is hydrochloric acid. And hydrochloric acid is second to battery acid. So if you get acid reflux, if you get heartburn, if you get burning, if you get uh, if you get an ulcer, all of these issues that are digestive are directly connected to your vision health. Pitta imbalances can distort vision and color perception. Change in the size or the shape of the eyeball is, or an astigmatism. This can be due to an imbalance in vata. Vata is the electricity in the nervous system. 
which governs movement and can alter the shape of the cornea or the eyeball. Vata is also the electricity that goes to every organ, every cell, and every tissue in the body. If you are in any kinds of states of fight or flight, a busy life, a very hard job, difficult relationships, all of these types of everyday human things cause low levels of fight or flight and high levels of fight or flight. That is considered a vata imbalance and that is directly related to your eyes and many other aspects. But in this video, we're talking only about the eyes. It can have a very drying effect and change the shape or the function of the tissue. Lack of luster in the eyes, non-functional tear glands. These symptoms can be due to an excess of vata because it leads to dryness and lack of moisture in the eyes because there's too much electrical stimulation in the brain. Nearsightedness or farsightedness. This can be due to imbalances in all three doshas. The vata, which is the nervous system, can be overstimulated or even understimulated. Pitta, the digestive system, can have too much acid in it or too little acid. Not enough metabolic cellular metabolism or too much metabolic cellular metabolism or kapha can have too much moisture or too little. Pitta imbalance can lead to farsightedness while kapha and vata imbalances can lead to nearsightedness. So if you have farsightedness or if you have nearsightedness then you have a doshic imbalance. What do you do with a doshic imbalance? When you practice Ayurveda or you go to an Ayurvedic doctor, which I invite you to give me a call and I can do an Ayurvedic consultation for you in office or I can do one online. And by the way, as I'm talking about this, please like, comment, and subscribe if this is helpful to you. Cataracts. This is often caused by an excess of kapha which can lead to growths on the lens of the eyes. And there are absolutely preventative practices that you can do that will change your life forever and reduce the common development of this due to diet or lifestyle changes that need to happen or maybe even herbal remedies. Glaucoma, this can be due to an out imbalance in vata and pitta leading to increased pressure in the eyes. So it's a very good idea along the pathway of your life to learn how to metabolize vata and pitta out using certain foods and practicing the principles of Ayurveda. And you, there's many videos in my uh, channel and you can read all about how to do that and how that connects to the eyes. Conjunctivitis. This is often caused by an excess of pitta, leading to inflammation of the conjunctiva. If you go and find my video on the three foods to reduce inflammation, that can directly affect the inflammation anywhere in the body, including the conjunctiva. Myopic changes. These can be due to an imbalance in vata and kapha leading to changes in the shape of the eye and lens. Again, if you go to the videos about vata and pitta and find out what tastes help to uh, create balance in those two doshas, you can eat those foods more often if you're having these kinds of problems and that will be at least the dietary prevention and there are herbal remedies for that and uh, a lot of clinical approaches that are being done every day in India to reduce those doshas and reduce these kinds of symptoms. Around age 40, Alachika Pitta, 
often becomes disordered due to lifestyle factors such as excessive reading and studying and particularly in pitta types also pitta types are high in hydrochloric acid they turn red easily they have to have lunch or they're irritated they can get irritated and angry easily and these types of pitta people need to use foods that reduce inflammation or go and see my video on the three foods to reduce inflammation this of course can lead to the need for eyeglasses in Ayurveda balancing the doshas through diet lifestyle changes and herbal remedies can help manage these eye disorders and support overall eye health I will be putting out a video in the next few days on form an herbal formula that's used in general in India for healthy eyes the yoga techniques for healthy eyes and lots more I'm looking forward to seeing you again bye this is dr. Helen hi check out my video we think I care Ayurveda that is the first in this series of three this is second and the third will be coming soon thank you Dr. Helen.